Okay. So, little recap. What we've done so far is cut out everything from uh, the templates. And now it's time to start gluing them together. So I think easiest part here, at least to start, is just go just start at the front. Why not? So I remind myself exactly where we are, taking this bit of piece. Okay, we'll start with this little section here, kind of like the front part right over the front of the thigh. And as per usual for me, using weld wood, DAP weld wood, contact cement. fan going here, blow some fresh air in my face, because this stuff stinks. I'm also going to, I'm just kind of folding this over a little. It'll help it hold its shape a little easier when I glue them together. Set this to the side to dry. And let's start with this one. You know, I'm going to try and do the same thing with this piece actually. I'll just fold it back here. Really give it a heavy curve. It's really just going to try and straighten it out a little. Okay. What I might do after I glue uh, these pieces together is I might use the heat gun just to get them more of a natural bend so it'll fit around my thigh. This actually goes, yeah, from this like this corner, we're gonna paint all the way around the arch. Stick that one to the side as well. And the last one here. The inside of this piece.
Okay, put that one to the side. And I would just let those dry. While those are drying, I'm going to work on cutting out that like hip circle piece. Agreed, I should do Green Goblin. Just got that text. Okay. Let's see, I think I actually pauses my stream, but I'm going to do that really quick. Sorry. Okay, we're back up. A little up there but nothing big let's see actually set that timer four minutes as per usual get that going and I'm going to start with this big circle and find that template piece around the side that. Okay, so what, how did I start doing this? Do that in 10 millimeter foam. So let's see if I can uncover that here. Sorry for it being blurry. I don't know if that's just my internet or what. So. I'm just going to have to deal with it sadly. Why is my phone buzzing? Okay. Okay. I'm just going to trace around here. Little circle. Well, it's actually the bigger circle, but it's not. Nothing difficult. And see where, where I've already cut one out. And honestly, just to make this a little easier, I'm gonna cut it into a smaller piece. There we go. Working around this would be much easier. I'm also going to sharpen my knife. Okay, I, as per usual, I'm gonna try and unroll it or roll it the opposite way because when you sell it, or when they sell it, it's uh, rolled up pretty good. Let me turn on these lights here. Okay. Now I'm just gonna saw in. I'm just gonna saw around, I'm trying to keep it. Uh, am I gonna, do I wanna saw it actually? I might not try and saw, I'm just gonna go keeping the blade as straight up and down as I can and keep it as smooth as I can because a lot of this edge is going to be exposed.
There we go. This is a little shaky, but I might take my Dremel up and smooth out the edges a teeny bit. There is the timer. So that means get another coat of glue. Put this to the side really quick and grab this piece. Okay, now the second coat of glue on. Glue, glue, glue. So much glue. I hate that I have like a shortage of glue right now, which is really weird. Um, like these little ones were the only ones I could find, which is really annoying because I like having the big one. They have like quart sized and uh, it's just way easier to use that and it's cheaper because these are like nine bucks a piece or something stupid like that. Ugh. Of course I got them at Home Depot. I might have to just buy them online next time. Okay, and that dripping down, I'm just going to use that. Works perfectly fine. other side, or at least the outside. Okay, that piece is glued for two. And the last piece is this big piece. glued for two now as well. Get some of this excess glue off so it doesn't glue the lid down. There we go. And start that four minute timer. Now back to the circle. Turn this side. Do I do the Dremel first or not? Kind of don't think so. Yeah, I'll wait on that. So next up, I am going to use the same circle actually on some two millimeter foam. Ah, 
know, what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to cut like ever so slightly, well, just on the outside basically of this black. And I'm also going to cut it at an angle. I know it's only two millimeters, but that's going to help us later on. And I'm going to cut it at a pretty big angle. Slowly and carefully all the way around here. So I want these circles to be looking really nice. Uh, so this is what's going on top of that black piece. Almost there. There we go. Okay, so now I've got that piece. And it's bigger, just actually it's about the same size, but that's gonna work perfectly. So this yellow will actually uh, stretch a little bit when I need to glue it on. Four millimeter, let me find some of that really quick. There. Yeah, let's just remember we had that mistake of one earlier. I just gonna use this and it's okay if that line goes through that, it's not gonna make a big deal. This one again I want it to be actually this one doesn't have to be as smooth of a line but I'm going basically right on the outside of that black again oh there's my timer stop that and we'll get to the glue after I finish cutting through this piece Okay. Sorry, there was some spam trying to call my phone, so it muted the video. Okay, now we've got that circle. Just a bunch of circles here. Okay, we'll come back to that again. going to do is glue these pieces together. I'm actually going to start on these two smaller pieces. Feels pretty, pretty ready. So I'm just going to start with these corners because I want those to be as flush as possible. Just lining up those edges. Okay, all the way.
Okay, fold those down in because this top one, or the uh, U-shaped piece one was cut with that inward angle. Okay. Make sure every bit of it is stuck there. Don't want that coming apart. Okay, good. Now I will glue. Oh, almost glued it upside down. Whew, that was close. Going to glue this piece onto this piece. Again, starting on the corners, but I'm going to start on this corner because this one is flexible. Doing my best to just line that edge up as flush as I can. It's looking pretty good so far. Okay, and attach that, make sure that is all stuck down. I will actually have to pause the video because I need to make sure I see the text really quick. Something that worked. So, let's do that. Okay, sorry about that little pause. And that piece is in there. That's good. Now which one am I going to go with? That's what I'm going to do. So, this, these pieces all go kind of one inside of another there. And do this piece. So, I'm going to start by folding this back, try kind of flattening it out. Same with the other two pieces. Okay, so now that those are all decently flat, again, take the glue, I'm going to start on this solid piece up top. It's basically like gluing the, uh, the shape-wise, actually, just like the last piece that we glued.
Good. We'll set that aside to dry. And we start working on the inside of this piece, then do the outside of this piece. Sorry, I got muted again there, had another call, but I will need to call that one back. Looking good there. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you. <laughs> See, I got the, the boots done, got the shin pieces done. After this, I'll have the uh, thigh pieces done. Making some progress, making moves. Are you able to uh, comment on the video? If you can, throw a comment up. I want to see what it looks like. Okay, got those three with the first coat of glue. Let me start this timer and I'll be right back.
Okay, sorry about that. Had to mute myself. I got a phone call there, but I'm back. Timer went off. It is time to do the second coat here of glue. And Jesse, only way I can comment is on my phone. Oh, you're on the Xbox. Oh, okay. Hey, yo, Avery. What's up, dude? <laughs> Dope. I love it. Okay, we're not gluing these together. I got distracted. <laughs> Putting that second coat of glue on. Here we go. Jesse, I hope you're also multitasking on the firebender, uh, so, or fire soldier, fire nation soldier, geez. How have you been? I've been good. Been, uh, just chilling basically. Working and, working and working on this project. Cause I gotta have this done by September 24th, dude. So I'm trying to buckle down and get done. I actually just went to Reno, so little vacation. <laughs> yes, I am. Good, good, Jesse. Don't be slacking like me and playing Xbox. <laughs> Gluing always takes so friggin' long. Okay, both those sides are done. Two coats. And last one. What are you going to game with the gents again? Oh, going to game with the gents again. Hey, man. <laughs> Whenever. I mean, I just keep either playing late or playing at random times. I don't know. Or I start playing and then I get a phone call and then I can't concentrate on the game. And that's even worse. But I'm done. We got. We do have to play again. I don't know if you tried the new season on Apex. It was pretty good. It's pretty fun. Yeah, Kings Canyon is the uh, ranked map. New legend. She's awesome. It's like a sniper, sniper chick. Okay. Now that I've got that glued, let me go back to this piece, if we can, and let's see, I think, let's see, how are we going to put it under here for this, exactly the size we want to, you know what I'm going to do is just going to trace it. And we're going to cut on the inside of this circle this time. Oh, there we go. So, our mouse 
also going to sharpen again because I want this to go smooth. side of the circle. Really trying to keep the knife actually straight up and down as I can. Okay. That turned out actually pretty good. I thought I went a little flat on one of those sides, but that looks pretty good. I like it. Now, last piece actually. We'll be using all those is that little there it is this little number 13 oval looking piece I had some black two millimeters let me find that I'll just kind of throw stuff to the side around here and then I end up losing it all what the heck We'll just use yellow. I'm gonna get painted over anyway. Oh, geez, it's right here. I swear I'm blind sometimes. Okay, so just taking this 13 piece and it's actually supposed to be straight on the edge, so I'm gonna line it up on this edge since I cut that last one straight. Making, I'm making the Iron Man uh, Mark III suit for the Comic Con. So I'm trying to blast through it so I can wear it for the, uh, the costume contest. But then I also figured I might as well stream it while I'm doing it. So here I am, streaming away. side one of these sides I'll be cutting off um, I'm just cutting this one because if it ends up looking a little better symmetrical on the other side then I can just use it instead and looking at them that one is more symmetrical looking this one's a little like flatter over here so I'm gonna keep this side we'll get to it later and it'll make more sense what I'm saying now the last actually part I do need to cut is this circle. I will try and center it as best I can, but cut it out of this yellow. Let's see. Yeah, dude, it's okay. Let me grab this really quick. Hold on. Little tangent here, but that's okay. Check out the the boot. It looks freaking 
uh, actually looks a lot better like when it's on my foot but the little bungee is super awesome and it like just sits and it'll go kind of individually when I walk uh, got that piece like little side piece looking pretty good uh, then this calf piece I just finished this the other day and this is dope because I got the these like super strong magnets so like literally I just let it go and it reattaches exactly how it's supposed to be it's awesome I love it. I'll be making a video for that one hopefully soon because I don't think I streamed that one by foam I bought uh, yeah essentially no actually not today I had this big um, pack I got from like Walmart or Hobby Lobby or something it's all the same type of two millimeter foam that you have only it's just a bunch of different colors um, and they're all in rectangle slices and magnets I got them online on Amazon um, I can't remember what they're called exactly it's on my phone so I can't look right now oh, we gotta, when I get a sec I'll send it to you though because they're super super strong and useful back to this I'm gonna try and center it as well as I can it's hard to center circles but you know we're just gonna go with it that looks pretty good And I'm going to go right on the inside of this black circle as well. Just to give myself that little extra space. Okay, now I actually won't need that yellow circle, so we'll just put it to the side. It also looks a lot smaller than the other one that I did, but actually holding it up, it looks right. We're going to roll with it. Now, what I want to do, because this circle actually fits inside of that yellow, I'm just going to stretch this because I want it to actually fit right on the yellow along with that same that same circle ring without actually having to cut another ring so it's basically a scrap that I'm reusing and what's nice with this foam is you can stretch it and it'll work like perfect wow I stretched it probably way too much there hmm. I may have to actually go and cut a second ring here that was silly of me got a little overzealous Actually, no, I don't think I will. I might just uh, snip it right there, start gluing it down, and as far as I get, I will just have a glue. That looks like the skinniest part, so that's why I'm going to cut it there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on both of these pieces. I'm just going around the whole thing because I don't know exactly how much. Uh, oops, dripping the glue there too. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to use of this inner ring, but I have a feeling it might. Uh, I might be cutting off a bunch anyway, which would be fine.
hopefully I kind of am able to cut off most of that because I really stretched it there. Okay, then I'm also going to put some glue on the inside of this yellow, making sure it's on the bottom side of the yellow because remember how we cut in on the outside line. So. Oh, you know, my uh, watch also went off and I forgot to glue those other pieces. So let's put the glue on here first, then I will glue those other ones. So I'm going to use a scrap piece and clean it a little bit off of my finger and the inside of the lid because I don't want to glue to the can. It's really annoying to get open again. swap these pieces up here to dry with these pieces that I need to glue. And again just like those other pieces from before just going edge to edge starting at this corner on the left or on the right I guess. trying to make this uh, edge as smooth as possible. too low there but we saved it there we go and mashing it in because uh, this one again is one of those inward cuts and we want it to be kind of angled down That's on. Alright, I'm going to start on this corner and go back the other way. I think. Like this would be better.
There we go. You can see how when we cut that piece um, originally, we had that out cut that kind of faded into a flat cut. And we can actually see that really well here is where it's angled, like down, like that with a little valley cut. And on this side, it's pretty flush. So that's exactly what we're going for. Very good. Let's actually take these two pieces. Put together like that. Let me look at the file really quick. I believe it is like that. Yep, that's it. Okay. Just get nervous about gluing them to the wrong pieces. So we're just going to put some glue. some glue right on these edges here. This one is a little thicker than the other one, but I'm just putting glue on the entire piece because it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, we'll put those up to dry. Now we'll grab these two pieces back. I don't think I need two coats of glue on these because they shouldn't really be too stressed while wearing the costume, so I'm um, starting with this one and what I want to do is I want to glue this on with uh, the inside of this ring and the inside of the yellow ring as flush as I can get them. And I will start my four minute timer. Forgot to do that. Okay, so we're just ending up with a little extra. Nothing, nothing wild. It's just a little bit more than I really wanted. But actually, I think what I might do is I might just mash this back in because this is where it is thinnest. And if I mash it in, 
kind of might uh, thicken it up a little bit back to where it was originally supposed to be. Yeah. I think that actually worked really well, lucky me. Now, the only thing is, since those are two separate pieces, or since I cut it, and now there's a split there, I'm going to take a little bit of this super glue. And I need a little piece of scrap here, if I can get a piece of scrap foam. Go. I'm just going to kind of fold this open, put a drop of super glue, put it back together, and it kind of bubbles out the edge, which is good. Um, I'm trying to make sure they are flush, but I'm going to rub with this scrap piece, just rub that super glue in. It helps it dry faster. Okay. Now it is back to one ring piece. Next, I am gluing this. Uh, there's the phone. Makes it a little hard to hear, but that's all right. I'm gonna try and flatten this actually a little bit more. do since this ring is that ring size I'm going to I'm just gonna try and center this okay I think that's decently centered we'll draw this one on Good. And I'm going to I'll actually use this can because this is the same size as this circle. We'll try and center this so that I just have that. It's just easier to center when I can see the line from the top. Okay, there's the timer. So I've got that circle, that circle. Put that to the side for now. And I could put a second coat of glue on these pieces. Second coat was on that one. And for this one, second coat on this piece. Okay, now let those dry again. Again to this piece. So now that I've got actually this centered, first thing I'm going to do is glue on this ring. And I'll use this contact cement. Okay, I'm just going to put on the inside of the ring here.
completely covered or completely coated. Since it's just one layer, I think it's just looking light to me, but one layer I think will be good enough. black piece I am just going to be gluing on the edge. I don't want to get too far out. I actually just want to follow this line. Get there. I'll set those up to the side to dry. Okay, and this piece actually we can't use those yet. We don't need these templates anymore though, so I put them back over to the side. three seconds left here and that actually feels good enough to glue so I'm just going to stop this timer reset it for that that piece up there but I think it's going to dry quick so we're going to glue these edge to edge and I might yeah I'm going to start on the bottom edge here corner to corner is that right? For some reason, I just don't quite feel like it's right, but it is. I don't need to doubt myself. It is. <laughs> edge to edge, like I said. Going all the way up. It gets kind of hard when I when you work with these uh, bigger pieces because you can't hold them putting the right leverage on. It's difficult to get the exact leverage. There we go, that's working, that's working. Almost. You know what, I'm actually just going to start on this top corner and then match it down. Yeah, there we go. Had a little bit of an in-cut here on this piece too, so make sure that matches all the way in. None of those two pieces are together. Let's see which piece do I want to get next. I think let's do these ones. I'm actually going to do those little pieces first. Those will be last. So next, just try and bring this piece together. I'll be gluing this piece right there and this other flat piece on the bottom. So we'll just put some glue on that. Off to work. Yep. I will talk to you later, Jesse. Have a good time at work.
easy to glue. And this piece I'm putting glue on every edge actually. side, put this big piece actually up to the side, and this one, i got to remind myself exactly what piece needs to attach. Okay, so it goes like that. <coughs> oh, there's the four minutes. get the two edges here and then not the bottom because that's going to just be exposed but we will get this top piece because it is that outward cut which I'm seeing again uh, will be attaching to the bottom of that other piece that we just glued. Okay, set that up to dry. Set my timer and grab these two pieces. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm just going to kind of look at the edge here. If there's any part I don't like as much, honestly, this this part where I initially started cutting looks the worst to me. It doesn't look horrible, but I'm going to line this or this. Uh, Actually, yeah, I'm gonna, not going to line it up because I want that to be on the bottom of the hip and I want this part where I glued that ring together is going to go to the back side. Scratch that. I think I want it to go to the front side. <laughs> Changing my mind. But this one's a little difficult because you kind of have to hold up the ring the white ring and yellow ring and I'm just gluing it following that line that we drew or that ring that we drew in uh, I'm gonna follow it around one side just trying to let it kind of fall naturally if we kind of mash it it might end up uh, bubbling in some places not bubbling but warping in some places so I don't want to force it too much If anything, it looks best if uh, it gets stretched. It's when it is mashed together. Oh, oh, oh getting a little head there. Okay, I think that's actually pretty good. Glue that around. And then. That's okay. The other one looks better, but that's all right. This will work. Well. We can tell I was not quite even with it because this side <laughs> barely makes it to the edge and this side is like hanging over the edge. I don't think that will really be a big deal. Luckily that's kind of on the bottom. So even if I dremel that away, it'll still work, I think. I wonder if I should try cutting it just to glue it easier. Nah. I'm just going to try and glue it. So, <clears throat> taking the super glue and I actually need some scrap pieces, so I'm going to grab some of those. I'm going to 
cut them to points because I like using points more. I also have 28 seconds left on the timer, so I'm going to wait to glue for a second. These scrap pieces to the side. Grab uh, this big piece. And where was it? It's this piece. I'm going to start this second coat of glue. Quick, nice and easy. This piece is a little more difficult because it's so small. Okay, <clears throat> stick that one to the side, and last one, this little piece. Second coat of glue there, and set that aside. Start my timer. And get that glue scrap pieces. And how I'm doing this is I'm just going to kind of press uh, the edge of this yellow foam up to the uh, corner of that black circle. Just press it down there. And I'm going to use this scrap foam. To help press it all the way in. Uh, it's just not working. This. There we go. Sometimes the glue doesn't want to dry perfectly, but get that. Oops, get it really all of my finger. Can't avoid that, so oh well. And I'm just going around the whole. This whole circle basically doing that same thing. So with the other one, I actually left that edge flat. I'm liking that a lot more than this uh, angled cut one. Uh, lesson learned. I like that flat, just flat part more. Just, I don't know why. It was gluing together so much easier. This one is not wanting to uh, glue. It's just not wanting to glue together. Maybe it's because that it's so thin. It's not enough to really grab onto. That's my guess. Gosh, I might have to try a different glue here because it's just really just gluing my fingernail more to the foam than it is foam to foam. Damn. Let's try on this other side. Couple of, yeah, this is way easier over here because it's significantly larger. So I can actually just get the I can get the glue on the yellow part and not mostly on my thumbnail. Oh well. We're going to try and work it around like this 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my Dremel to even it out later. At least that's the plan. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I might actually just be able to take my knife and cut along there, but I have a feeling Dremel will be a little more accurate. Hold on. Okay. Okay, slowly but surely. All right, hold on for just a second. I'm gonna mute really quick. Okay. Now, these are dry, timer went off. I'm going to glue these on and we'll get back to that super glue part. I'm just gonna start right here on this corner, corner to corner, corner to corner, and stretch it, which will kind of pull this, this piece together uh, across to get those corners aligned and the other half or other side just gonna press that in there we go that worked out quite well then the other piece oh I didn't need to put glue on the sides of it actually yet but I did we're just going to go right here on the corner, follow this edge all the way down, or all the way across, and that is that piece. Now, last two, at least for this before we connect the two halves, is, or are, these two pieces, which which one is this? That is that side. And this one is that side. Okay. So I'm going to kind of glue or fold these back or roll them up so that they kind of fold back the other way. Okay. Get glue. And this piece is going to start on this edge. And this piece will glue in a little bit. This actually should be straightforward, just straight down this edge. That's not too difficult. Put that one to the side. I'll actually do these two smaller pieces with glue first. This one I do want both of these, whoops, both of these edges first. Okay. 
set that one to the side to dry. And last is gluing the insides of these pieces. And since I already got that piece with glue, I'm not going to worry too much about it, but I'm still going to put a little extra glue on there, or just, ex you know, whatever is on the edge of my brush as it hits this piece. Don't need a lot. But I do want to make sure I get all these other pieces pretty thoroughly. Okay, and then the other side. Okay, now we'll set that big piece up to dry, and back to the super glue. apparently there. getting back to that short side so hopefully since I've already kind of glued on this this side over here it's going to help hold it in um, as I glue it as I glue it down there we go that actually works well to keep my keep my thumb off of it just using one of these scrap pieces of foam to press the yellow foam in. That works much better. Kind of, that's just, man, I really cut it short there. Hmm. I'm just gonna have to go with it. I'm gonna try putting this glue on the other side. I'll start with it on the yellow, and I will press in like that, and that might help it. Yeah, I think that's the go-to now. Yeah, okay. It's going to require a bit of dremeling, but it's just how we have to do it. See how it started to, I think, pull up from there? Or maybe that, no, nah, it's just where I was gluing my thumb more earlier. That's fine. Get a new piece. Yeah. 
And this last bit. All right, well that's super stoked how that turned out, but I think once I kind of get rid of this excess here, it'll look better. And this excess down here, it'll really help it shape up a, a lot. Um, I'm just hoping that's not too, too difficult. But there's the timer. Didn't need all of these scraps, so I'll put those back there. And let's get the second coat going of this glue. Okie dokie. Two down, two to go. Two gloving spaces at least. This is technically one piece, so. Okay, nope, set that to the side one more time, start the timer there, and, oh gosh, do I try that Dremel right now, or do I try and glue that other piece on, I think I should do the Dremel first so I don't waste a lot, or end up wasting a lot. And that is not in there. It's just under the table. Okay. Okay, I'm actually really liking how this is working. Right there, it worked really well. I think since this has so much, I'm gonna try and saw off a bit of it. Um, with my knife being as sharp as it is, I can really get just right up next to that yellow. Okay, good, and it's okay if I have that sawing line because I'm about to just dremel right over it. You 
know what? I almost sort of forgot. Uh, putting on a mask because these breathing in this dust is dust is probably not a good idea. Okay. Okay, so that actually made it look a lot better. You can tell when you're looking at it from the side that this side is like wider than this side, but I don't think it'd be that big of a deal. There are these little teeny gaps here, which I'm gonna go and fill later. I'll use probably just quick seal for that. Terrible is going off, but I'm going to grab my vacuum really quick because I got this dust all over. So I'll be right back. Okay, you may want to mute your computer or TV. It's going to be a little loud. I'm going to vacuum.
Okay. Now that that is cleaned up a little bit, I'm happy enough with that, at least to put it to the side for now. Let's get these pieces and glue these in. Feels pretty good to glue. And I want this top edge flush with this top edge. So I'm just gonna start on this outside here. It's gonna be kind of tough to glue just because of the angles. So I'm actually starting on this inside angle, or the inside point rather. And gluing it down there to the outside. And then I'll work my way around. And I can see I've already let it touch way too much there, so that's all right. I'm able to mash it back in. And like I said earlier, working with these big pieces is a little frustrating because they just there's no way to hold them. it to fit right now. I'm actually doing those corners. Is this right? For some reason it's just not seeming right. Yeah, it is. It's just, uh, I'm just going to mash it in. I guess it kind of helps if you kind of bend it. So that's good to know. other side and again I'm going to start on this uh, I think I'm going to start actually on this side see how this goes starting up here that might have been a mistake to start up here but that's all right Just because I think the spacing is easier to gauge going the other way, but I've already started, so we're rolling with it. Okay. This part's a little easier. I think it's just because I can move the foam or this big piece is a little easier to handle. That's all right. That corner, okay. Straight down here. This one is easy. Oops. I say it's easy as I must glue it. <laughs> and down to this corner. Okay, well, that one went a little bit smoother at the end. Just try and really mash that together. Just gonna let it fold there. Mash it and fold it here. So essentially, these will actually be glued on the back. Um, let me grab that last piece. It fell on the ground somewhere. So, this piece, um, I'm going to start just gluing that because we know we want that at an angle. I don't know if 
you guys can hear that, but a timer is going off downstairs. I gotta go run down and check that. So when I finish putting some glue on here, I will be right back. Okay, leave that to dry. I don't think we'll need more than one coat, so that will be fine. Oh, we're right back. Okay, got that timer off, and we are back. Let's see, that didn't start a timer, whoopsie. Okay, let that dry while that's drying. Work on these pieces. Um, with this, I just wanna glue this in the center of there, so we will put some glue on that. I don't know what it is, but the sound just travels in this part of the house, so sorry about that. Extra sound, my mom is on the phone. And put some glue on the inside as well. Just kind of following with that, we drew that line, or that circle in there earlier. Uh, just following the inside of that. So I definitely don't want to accidentally glue it to the edge of this ring. covered we will not start the timer apparently because I have a minute and 43 left there we will just put them to the side let them dry and I will take another look at this one yeah this side is not the good side so I'm actually going to mark that I'm just going to put a little x over here so I know I want to cut that side it's pretty obvious I didn't need to do that I could have noticed 
as soon as I glue this piece on, but that's all right. One minute left, how's this feeling? Pretty close, it's a little tacky still, so I don't want to glue it yet. I guess I will actually just go on this. So, with this piece, uh, this is supposed to go on the back, just like this. Uh, I know it's gonna be a little too small because holding this up to my thigh, it's like that far apart on the back side, um, and this is obviously only that thick. So it felt like I needed to add about two inches. Uh, so what I did is since this is the back piece again, this side is flat, I took its uh, template piece and just traced it on a paper and cut out a rectangle that's the same length from there to there. And I did the same thing, essentially, for this side. There's the timer. But I did the same thing for this side, following that curve and this little angle here. And they're both an inch thick, so that should give me my two inches that I need to get it to fit around. So I will cut those in just a second. But that timer went off, so... That means I can glue this piece together. So I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna start on this top part, mash it together. I'm just doing that all the way down. And what that does is it gives us that nice curve or nice angle on the other side, on the outside. Dookie. So that is that. Like I said, made those other pieces, or made these template pieces with those two uh, two inches that I needed, so it'll fit all the way around my thigh. They're really simple pieces, but what I'm going to cut them out of is six millimeter foam, just to make sure I have. Uh, ooh, I wonder if I have enough foam actually. <laughs> Okay, this six millimeter will fit there. That, that will fit. Oh, come on. Nah, it doesn't. Darn it. Might have to grab that brand new roll of six millimeter. Or just use four millimeter. I wonder if I should just use four millimeter. Nope, I want it to be six millimeter. So I am just going to draw this out here. Except again, I want to do it on this side. I almost traced out the wrong way. I guess it wouldn't have been the end of the world. Bottom here is flat, so I'm just going to line that up with the flat side there. That way it'll be one less cut I have to make. Up here is pretty flat. Sorry, my mom is talking loud on the phone again. But that's just how it goes. Oh, her conversations. Okay, so now this um, is just going to be, actually, it's, yep, it's just going to be flat cuts. Makes it easier, flat cut it, new biggie. I'm just following that line down. There and so this here goes down. Cut across the top 
here flat and then follow down this curve and we're in a little bit on the line there but that should be okay it won't really make that big of a difference and so that will be our extra piece to make it fit scraps. don't know how useful they'll be, but that's all right. And that's a scrap piece. This one up there. Okay, I will go get that extra roll of, ow, six millimeter. Actually, after I glue this together. Okay, now this one's a little tough because basically you have to line it up, then set it in. And as soon as it sets in, it sticks. So I'm gonna guess that's as centered as it's gonna get. Sorry if my head is in the way. Okay, actually the look here is a little off, but I was able to pull it up. Okay, since I did one layer of glue, I guess it's not too difficult to pull up. But I swear this is not wanting to, there we go. That's as center as it's going to get. It's not perfect, but it'll do. What's nice actually is it looks like it's centered all the way around like that, except for right here. So, hmm, maybe I don't want to do that actually. Yeah, that's going to be the bottom. So we're just going to hope it throws it off because this piece will be be glued in there. I have to remind myself how I did this part. Okay, so I've used this piece a lot before. Yeah, that's the right size. I'm trying to center this, and again, centering another circle as best I can. I will just trace around that. It looks pretty centered. That'll work. Now, what I do want is this part where the foam was really thin. I want that to be the bottom because I feel like that's gonna be the least visible when the suit's on. And this little black piece goes forward there because it's like a little locking mechanism. At least that's what makes sense to me. And I am just going to mark exactly where I want that in. Guess my phone is low power mode. There we go. That's why it wasn't updating. I hope that didn't just freeze on the live stream. So I guess we'll see. Anyway, as I was saying, I want this piece to be basically at the center there, and I think that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna trace around. So I know exactly where this one's going to be glued in. And this is why I wanted to mark that X of the piece that's less symmetrical. Because I'm going to end up cutting it off. 
and that side is symmetrical. So what I'm going to do is I will actually grab this circle piece, line it up with those two little marks that I just made. And I will be cutting this piece off right there. Sorry, my head was in this shot there, but it will essentially just be glued in like that. That should be perfect, actually. Um, are you looking at it? I may be able to cut off a teeny bit from the top. But I might also just put the glue on and mash it in exactly where I think it's supposed to go. Yeah. Yep, that's the best bet. So, I'll take some contact cement. And put it on all of the bottom here. because. I don't know exactly where it's going to be not connected uh, right when it hits that yellow ring. I mean, I know it's going to be a couple millimeters, so I can actually go up just to the edge almost. And what I actually want to do is I want to put a little bit of glue on the edge. Because that's where I'll be gluing it the yellow piece. Okay, I will set my timer and I'll grab that brand new roll of six millimeter foam. Be right back. Okay. Let me glue this or tape this together so crazy. I think even cutting it is a little weird. Okay, here we are, fresh foam. And I'm going to 
this back up out of the way. Oops. Now we'll take that rectangular piece, and this will be a really easy piece to cut, actually, especially out of this brand new foam. Because really all I'm gonna need is to make two cuts, since it's rectangle. Line up there. And it is a little difficult to work with this brand new foam because it wants to curl so bad. Okay, that should be good. This. One long cut all the way down, and one short cut across. There we are. Timer. I'll grab these pieces. Check the fit really quick. Fits well. Okay. This is ready to glue. So what I am going to start with. I'm going to start with this edge. Nope. Oh, how am I going to do this? Um. I'm going to start with the edge. So. I'm going to try and line it up with those lines down there and make sure it's flush on the top, which it pretty much is. Then, without it getting too messed up, I want to lift up the middle, press that back end in, and then mash it down. There we go out quite well and there's the top of the hip piece and that is done so we can set that to the side for this last bit I am going to put glue on these pieces first piece here. Then on the other side. last piece yep doing it on the wrong side right now I mean I will need glue there eventually so it doesn't really matter
Okay, now we'll let that dry. And get that. Oh, okay. Got the timer started. Now, one thing while this is drying, I want to heat the other piece and I will bend it in because it's just an unnatural curve right or it's naturally curving right now but I want the natural curve to be going the other way so we're going to heat it up Essentially what I want here is to bend it so that it has more of a natural curve that my thigh will have. That'll be less stress on this back side with those seams. I'm just rolling it up here because I want it to be with a strong, that strong curve. same to this side except I'm not gonna curl it or roll it like I did I'm just gonna curl it here this will help just enough so now it's got that curve where it seems like it wants to stay curved it's not gonna put as much tension on these back seams this glue it's like trying to split a little bit there right up in that corner which I can film later but I don't think it's gonna fix just by squeezing it right now so we just have to wait till later disc now. This is going to have this curl enough, enough, and just waiting for this to dry. This glue to dry. It's actually only got 27 seconds left, so I'm just going to restart the timer there and put the second coat on. Done. Get this other side. that's glued what I'm also going to do is I'm going to get the first coat because this side's going to need to be glued to that piece I'm going to do the second coat right here and then just get the first coat on the other side
Okay. And same on this piece. I'm going to do the second coat here, and I will do the first coat on the other side. First coat here. First and second coat is on. I will also put the first coat on this big piece. First I'm going to start the timer. And we're going to go here. Only have to go down to this edge though. And then the other side. Okay, now we put the glue back. Okay, if I can get it to shut, there we go. Put that up to the side. Two and a half minutes, these are ready to glue together. I hope that didn't just freeze that whole time again. Uh, said low battery on my phone. So I'm hoping I can make it to the end of the stream. I'm actually going to go grab a phone charger just in case. Okay, I'm going to have to unplug here. It's not going to be as good sound quality, but got to give my phone some juice. 
enough juice at least to finish the uh, stream. We're almost there. We are almost there. It's been what, two hours? Oof, two hour stream. Oh, it could be worse. 14 seconds left. I'm just going to stick these together because um, they are ready to glue. Start on this top corner, corner to corner, edge to edge. Want it to be super flush. And what I could have done alternatively, since this is such a flat piece and straight piece, is I could have just added this one inch on the template, which I would have done, but since I made one of the thighs first, uh, before this video, it's not how I did that one. I made this, I made it just with a little extra piece. So I decided to do the same thing to show exactly how I got it. Uh, didn't really get it flush at the bottom there, but oh well. So this like, this six millimeter looks shorter or thinner than this six millimeter. Oh well. Got that piece on. We can go with this piece now. Corner to corner, edge to edge. Basically the same thing. And this side, it would be a little bit harder to uh, just add an inch on. But it's, again, it's doable to just add this on the, uh, on the piece itself. On the template piece that is what I mean, actually. Alternatively, I probably didn't need to scale it down 20%. This whole piece may be just 10%, but I'd rather it be a little bit too small because it's so much easier to add um, like two small pieces like I'm doing right now than it is to take off a lot. Usually when you take off a lot, it kind of messes up the proportions of the rest of the pieces and how they stick together. So, sorry, my mom was going about something. Um, but it's easier to add on little pieces like this than it is to cut pieces away if it's too big, in my opinion. So I opt for making it too small and then sizing it up. But we'll put the second coat of glue on here. It's got its second layer of glue. Actually put it up there to dry out of the way. And this one. Put this second coat on. Okay, second coat is on there, start the four minute timer, and put the glue away. I'm going to kind of clean up the workspace a little bit around the floor here. It's a bit of a trash I need to take out. I'm always uh, such a sucker about saving scrap pieces because I think I can reuse them, but like honestly this piece, I don't think I can really use that top part, so I'm gonna throw that out. 
on PCS. All these scrap pieces. Doesn't help when you get to the end of your phone though, the end of a roll, I always end up with a lot. A lot of scrap pieces, just because when you get to the end, you're running out and you want to, you know, just makes sense to try and save it. Or not save it, it just, you can't fit the pieces exactly how you want because you don't have as much to use. So, just toss those. The one thing I did not actually do on this stream is cutting these two pieces, which go up above the thigh. They're so simple. Uh, they're just like this. And when I glue them together, it's going to be more when the whole suit starts to come together because they're going to be elastic. I want them to be able to move. So I haven't even glued them on the other thigh piece yet. That's why I didn't really show it in the stream, but it's there. 11, 12, just cut them out flat. Nothing crazy. Okay, let's get these scraps out of the way. Getting close, we got one minute left. Still a little tacky. I don't want to try and glue it yet. Don't want to glue it too early. Okay. <coughs> All right, we're almost there. We are almost there, 50 seconds. Twenty seconds. Okay, we're just gonna stop the time in there. I think it's ready to glue. I am going to start with uh, this curved piece because it might be a little bit more difficult than just the flat one. So, I'm just going to start on this top corner, corner to corner, edge to edge as best I can. Oh, bottom one of that stick. Gosh dang it. Oh, this piece is already difficult to work with. So difficult. Okay. I'm just gonna have to make it work here. Edge to edge, work with me foam, come on. All right, we're just gonna have to go for it. Don't fail me now. I'm just gonna try and hold up the middle and maybe that's actually not gonna work. There we go. This is got it. kind of holding up the middle with my left hand here is that's the trick apparently for this piece. Put that there lightly together and get this bottom corner. And there we go. I'll try and press that together. Like I said, these big pieces difficult because there's just no no handle. But that one ended up working pretty well. It's pretty flush, pretty flat. That's pretty good. Now the other side is just flat, so that'll be a little bit easier. 
but we want edge to edge, corner to corner at the top, and follow that edge all the way down. I'm also running out of light, so that's not helping either. That one was a little off the middle part there, but it'll still work. Try and mash it together there. It's actually, actually it's not too bad. Squeeze it together and there we go. We finally have the thigh piece done. And of course, the very last part got tested. Always gotta test it, make sure it really fits. And that does actually fit super well. I know we can't see it here, but it goes up, uh, up almost to my hip, and it is tight on my thigh, which is perfect. So there it is, the thigh piece for Mark III uh, Iron Man. I will be hopefully streaming the next piece, which is like the the mid piece or the cod piece, whatever it's called, I don't really know, uh, should be coming out soon. So turn on notifications, like and subscribe this, and as always, hail to the hobbies.